A very reluctant Robert Mueller will be dragged before two House committees tomorrow. It's the last gasp of Russia, 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 collusion and obstruction. The Democrats will field a phalanx of lawyers to go at him, but they'll get nothing new. It's not going to work. Mueller will only answer questions about his report, and that report is not a pathway to impeachment. Instead, the Democrats will try to show President Trump as unfit for office. They want him to look so bad that he loses in 2020. So, you'll hear lots of questions about, for example, Don McGahn. Very few people know who he is. Well, he was the White House counsel ordered by the president to fire Mueller and then ordered to keep quiet about that firing request. Is that kind of weedy? Is that obstruction of justice? And 18 months from now in the 2020 election, will anybody care? You'll hear lots of legalistic wrangling about obstruction. It'll go right over voters' heads. I just don't see these hearings giving the Trump haters the boost that they're looking for. Voters are not turned on by legalisms, and they're not turned on by lawyers arguing amongst themselves. You don't turn a president out of office because you don't like him, and you don't win an election if the only thing you've got going for you is you don't like the president. There will be five hours of testimony, every minute of it on television. Democrats and their media allies are building it up as the most important hearing since Watergate. They have great hopes. You know, really, they should not get carried away. I think it will be a bust. The country has moved on. The Democrats have not. And if they think that socialism will bail them out of the failed collusion effort, they'd better think again.